Dear learners, welcome. The purpose of this video is to improve your listening skills, and it helps you understand the story by providing vocabulary. There are also some comprehension questions and a quick competition that you can answer. By the way, enjoy this video, and I hope you like the story. Okay, let's begin. Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell Vocabulary Review Chapter 5 Cave A large hole in the side of a hill, cliff, mountain, or underground. Fence A structure that divides two areas of land, similar to a wall but made of wood or wire and supported with posts. Pot A deep round container used for cooking things in. Return To come or go back from one place to another. Flat Without any hollow, curved, or high points, it is smooth and flat. Climb. To go up something towards the top. Drop. To fall or to allow something to fall. Chapter 5. A new home. It was night when I woke up. The sea was high and the waves were touching my feet. I moved to a higher place on the beach and slept again. In the morning I took my bags from the boat. I then climbed up the hill which was my home again. From my high rock I looked down. I saw all the things that I loved. The otter were playing in the kelp. The white waves were breaking on the rocks. The birds were flying across the sky. I felt very happy. I remembered my fear when I was in the boat. And I was sure of one thing. I will never try to leave again, I said to myself. The island of the blue dolphins is my home. It will be my home until the white men return in their ship. Perhaps they will not come for many months. I will have to build a house and a place where I can keep my food. I could build my house on the open space at the foot of the rock. It was not far from the sea, and there was a stream running through the ravine behind it. It was protected from the strong winds, so it was also a comfortable place to live. There was another possible place, I remembered, along the coast. It was about a mile away to the west. But I had an unpleasant surprise when I went there that morning. It was near the cave where the dogs lived. The leader heard me and came to the mouth of the cave. He stood there and watched me with his yellow eyes. I had to kill him and the other dogs before I could build there. Of course, I wanted to kill them, but I needed time to prepare. There were some high rocks at this place, too, and a stream of good, clear water. I could see the coast and the beach. But suddenly I heard the sea elephants. And I knew then that my own hill was the better place. The cliffs were low, and there was a shelf part of the way down, just above the rocks. The sea elephants loved this place. In a storm, they climbed onto the shelf. In fine weather they fished in the rock pools. They often just lay on the rocks in the sun. Sea elephants make a lot of noise. The male is a very big animal. The females are smaller, but they make more noise than the males. And the babies are never quiet, not even at night. This morning they were all in the sea, far from the rocks. But the noise was terrible. I knew that I could never sleep in that place. And sir, I went back to the hill. Rain fell that night and lasted for two days. I made a little roof of sticks and leaves at the foot of the rock, which kept off some of the water. I had enough food, but I was very cold and wet. I could not light a fire in the rain. On the third day the rain stopped. I went out and collected things for my house. I needed some posts and other material for a strong fence. I planned to kill the dogs soon, 
but I needed to protect my food from the hundreds of small red foxes on the island. I can never hope to kill all the foxes with arrows, I thought. My food will never be safe until I build a fence. The island smelled fresh and sweet after the rain. I sang while I was walking down the ravine. It was a good day to begin my new home. Many years ago, a storm carried two whales onto the beach. We ate their meat. The rest of their bodies, though, we left lying in the sand. I dug up pieces of the whales and used them for the fence. I put them close together in the earth. And then I tied them with wet kelp. Later the kelp dried and pulled them tightly together. The rock formed part of the fence. The part that I made was nearly six feet long. It was taller than me and it was very strong. I did not make a gate in the fence but dug a hole under it. On the outside the hole was covered with a board. And on the inside, I covered it with a large, flat rock. It was too cold to sleep on the high rock, but I felt quite safe inside my fence. And I slept there every night until my new house was ready. Our people believed that tall trees once covered the island. It was a long time ago, when the world began. Tamiowit and Mukat were the chiefs then, and they often fought. Tamiowit wanted people to die. Mukat did not. Tamiowit was very angry and went down to another world, under this world. He took the tall trees and all his other things with him. Because Tamiowit died, people die. I had to search for many days before I found enough wood for my house. There were four posts on each side and eight other pieces of wood across the roof. The rock formed the back wall, and the front was open. So, I only had to build two sides. I covered the sides and the roof with wide kelp leaves. The house was not finished until the middle of winter. The foxes often came and stood outside the fence. They looked through the holes in the kelp while I was cooking my food. The dogs also came and tried to bite through the fence. They made a lot of noise but could not get in. I shot two of the dogs, but not the leader. I was too busy to follow the others to their cave. At this time my food was mainly shellfish and small fish, and I had to cook these on a flat rock. Later I found two stones that were the shape of dishes. I made them deeper and wider. These were my new cooking pots, and after that I was able to eat the juices from the fish too. I also made a bag that held water. This was quite easy work because in the past I often watched my sister Yulape making these. I mixed plants with water in the bag and then dropped heated stones into it. It made a very nice soup, and a change from fish. My fire was in the floor of my house with stones around it. I made shelves in the rock wall for my pots and for my food. The house was warm, dry, and comfortable, and it was safe from the animals. I could cook all the food that I wanted to eat. Everything that I needed was near at hand. I was now ready to think about killing the dogs. I decided to make a new, heavier spear, a bigger bow and better arrows. I made the new bow and arrows first and was very pleased with them. I could shoot a long way, and my arrows traveled a lot straighter than before. Then I began to make a new spear. Our men always made a good spearhead from the tooth of a sea elephant. The tooth of a male was necessary because the female's teeth were too small. The men caught the male first and then killed it with a wooden post. I was not strong enough to do that. And I knew that I could not kill a male sea elephant with an arrow. But I really wanted one of those teeth for my spearhead. So, I decided to visit the sea elephant's home the next day. Comprehension questions. 1. Which place do the sea elephants love? 
2. How does the island become after the rain? 3. What does Karana do on the third day? 4. What do the foxes do while Karana is cooking her food? 5. From whom does Karana learn to make a bag? Quick competition. Read the sentences below and find the correct adjective, adverb, verb etc. Used in the story. 1. My food will, blank, be safe until I build a fence. Always or never. 2. The birds were flying, blank, the sky. Across or near. 3. I had, blank, food, but I was very cold and wet. Abundant or enough. 4. Later the kelp dried and pulled them, blank, together. Tightly or loosely. 5. The part that I made was, blank, 6 feet long. Exactly or nearly. Thank you for listening to this chapter. Now, read the comprehension questions again and try to find the answers in the story. Then, do the quick competition part. Also, the answers are in the explanation part of the video. Check out your answers over there. Moreover, don't forget to subscribe for the new episodes. If you like this chapter, click the like button. To make this project more effective and beneficial, let me know in the comments below.